Hi everyone, welcome to the Gold Knights at the Round Table. I'm editor James A. Molnar. On tap for you today, we have our 83rd Academy Awards predictions. In part one, we discuss the categories that you may not have heard too much about, and we give you our insight. Take a look. All right, well, thank you all for joining me for At the Round Table. We're talking about the Oscar predictions. On your left is Jackson Quick in San Francisco, in the middle. Jay Howell, Indiana, and Heather Ledswitz on your right in Chicago, or near Chicago. And I'm Jay Molnar, editor in Ohio. We're actually going to start with animated short. Worth looking at. Okay. All right, so for animated short, we're going to go with, you're going to go with Madagascar, Carnet de yeah. Bagage. Okay. Let's move on to documentary feature. Hmm. And I said for my prediction, I'm predicting Inside Job. I would predict Inside Job as well. But uh, I'd have to say that Exit of the Gift Shop was my second favorite movie of the year. And um, I would give anything to see Banksy at the Oscars. I just said Exit of the Gift Shop because Banksy's been, you know, drumming up some ports for himself with the the uh, billboard that he decorated and uh, that got taken down. I just think people want to see what's going to happen because they're not letting him come out in the, the monkey mask. Uh, I didn't see Inside Job. I saw Restrepo, Exit to the Gift Shop, and Gasland. Personally, I was not impressed by Exit to the Gift Shop. I think a movie about street art can be made any second of any day of any year, any time. I think Restrepo deserves it, though. So that's the one I want to win, but I definitely think that Inside Job is going to take it. All right, now let's go on to Best Foreign Language Film. Um, I went with Incendies from Canada. I was surprised Dogtooth even got a nomination because uh, having seen the film, the Academy doesn't usually go for stuff like that. But uh, but I would pick, if I had to say which one I think would win, it would be In a Better World. And uh, In a Better World won, uh, won the Golden Globe for Best Foreign Film, so... I would pick that. I think the most obvious pick, though, would be Beautiful to win. But I really think that my favorite movie of the year, I Am Love, got snubbed from Italy. And uh, that movie took 10 years to make, and it was like a huge foreign production. It just, ugh. Um, I was saying it was going to be between Beautiful and In a Better World, because didn't Beautiful win um, non-English language film at the BAFTAs? And then Javier Bardem got the nomination for Best Actor, and then In a Better World had uh, the Golden Globe. So... It just feels like it's a race between those two. Visual effect. Inception should win. And I think it will win. Uh, I put Inception. I still agree, Inception, uh, that the scene where there's no gravity, that was just fabulous. Yep. I say Inception is a lock for that one. That'll be that'll be the Academy making up for it for a Best Director nomination. Let's go to Best Original Song. I picked We Belong Together from Toy Story 3. I see the light from Tangled. Because okay. it's a throwback to, you know, the Disney stories from the olden days, you know, A Whole New World and Beauty and the Beast. Uh, I would say If I Rise from 127 Hours. Although, to be completely honest, I can barely remember any of these songs from any of those movies. Um, I went with uh, We Belong Together from Toy Story 3. Just, uh, I think it's like, it's like like quintessential song. It has that like Toy Story feel, you know. But uh, I actually think that If I Rise is the best one. If I was like, you know, if I choose to listen to these on my own, which I do listen to the 120, and it goes with the movie really well. So for original score, I, I mean, I'm pretty much in love with all these scores. However, I do think the King's Speech is going to win because Alexandre Desplat has been nominated multiple times, and he's never won. So I think this is kind of a, even though I think Ghost Rider was probably a better theme for Alexandra this year, but I think that the King's Speech um, is going to take this category. Um, yeah, this is actually probably my toughest category. They're all amazing in their own way. They're all so different from each other. A.R. Raman's doing his thing, which is now, after listening to 127 Hours, that's his thing. Inception, though, had that, like, you know, the sound that everybody remembers from, like, 2020, that big, like, thing. And I think just for, like, giving, you know, like, instilling some, like, pop culture music into the zeitgeist of the times, I think that's what's going to help him win. Um, How to Train Your Dragon is actually an amazing score. 
and it's like just really classic, like big, fun, like swashbuckle and horns, and actually really love listening to it. I think the King's Speech is really good, but it's also a, just a lot of piano and a lot of like soft, like delicate classical music. And really, I definitely think that the Social Network soundtrack is the best of all of them, hands down. It's amazing. Yeah, this is another category where I think Tron Legacy kind of got snubbed. The Social Network should win. Yeah, uh, if you're looking at it strictly from that point of view, the Social Network is the best of these. So I would say the Social Network for the win. Yep, Social Network here as well. Um... So let's go to film editing. I would say um, the category is pretty pretty tough this year, but um, I would I pick Social Network hands down to win. Well, the way that they were splicing the film together, like going jumping chronologically, like I think that it just made complete sense. I'm not sure if this falls under the visual category or the film editing, but to actually put uh, the second brother's face on, because they use two different actors, but one guy's face. Like, I'm not sure if that counts as film editing, but I thought that was really cool, too. Um, I would say the social network as well. Um, this kind of looks like if the Best Picture category was still five nominations, it's hard not to imagine that these are the five that would be nominated. So this is, yeah, this is a really tough category, but I would say The Social Network for film editing. Uh, I think The Social Network has really good editing, and I know that you're not supposed to pay attention to the editing, but the movie, like, 127 Hours, which is one character in one scene, I think a lot of pressure goes on to the editor to make it sure. not feel like you're there sitting in one place the whole time, you know? But I do think the social network, you know, going back, like, having the conversation here, then they're over here, then they're over there. Uh, I think that it, it did its job also. I... Okay, and now costume design, since I Am Love is nominated for this, I will, uh, um, I'll send it to Jackson first for best costume design. Um, it's weird. Even though I love this movie, I wouldn't really put it up in this category. It just wasn't that special. I think the True Great costume design is amazing. Uh, if I remember correctly, she hasn't won an Oscar or been nominated that often, or at all. And uh, I I think that it should go to True Grit. I wouldn't be surprised if it went to the King's Speech, too. But if I had to pick, I'd go with True Grit, although I think in my email I put the King's Speech or Alice in Wonderland. And I was going to say King's Speech, too. Um, I did say this King's Speech would win, uh, but I agree. True Grit's costumes are really, really good. With the King's Speech, uh, it's just, you know, perfect little British clothing and so either one of those i would love to win uh you know the, the academy always goes for like the flashiest costumes and i don't i don't really know anything about costume design but it always seems like the flashiest movie wins and so i might say the tempest actually for the win let's do best art direction i'm predicting the king's speech for art direction and let's go to jackson i i think i think it should go to alice wonderland personally just because it's like you know, it's big and crazy and psychedelic and, I don't know, and you have dragons and fire and all that stuff. But, I mean, I love all of these. They're all amazing for Art Direction because I can't honestly say that I think any of these are going to win because they're all amazing. So I'm just going to throw Alice in Wonderland as my winner. I would go with the King's Speech. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like kind of ties into, I think, Social Network for Best Picture. And I think the King's Speech will get a lot of the minor categories. You know what I mean? That happens a lot, it seems. Okay. And Heather? I said the King's Speech as well. Um, the office scene, that was definitely a, a high point. Or the little horses that the, the girls had in the, their room. It was just, it was really nice. And I, that's the one I, I think will win. Let's talk about best cinematography. I think all of these are very good for cinematography, but I ended up going with Roger Deakins for True Grit especially because I think that he, he deserves to be recognized. I actually went with Inception uh, because of the different locations that they had to film in with the snow and then uh, in the tight enclosed spaces. I just felt that that one just sort of spoke to me more. Uh, and I, But I do agree that all of them are strong contenders, and uh, True Grit was really gorgeous as well, but Inception. Yeah, I would be happy if any of these movies won, because I liked them all, and they all had really great cinematography. I think The Social Network will come out the winner in that category. Okay, and Jackson, our budding cinematographer, what do you think? 
I actually disagree with Jake. I think the social network cinematography was, uh, I was watching the movie and I kept squinting because it was so like muddy and dark. And, and then I was like, okay, well, when I watched it on DVD, it'll, you know, that was probably just like a theater problem. No, who wasn't? But I think the most effective cinematography of all of them was Black Swan. I think it made up for, you know, the things that that movie's lacking. I think the Black Swan should win. I think that it is gonna win. But also at the same time, Wally Pfister was amazing for Inception. And um, the King's Speech, this is the one thing that I really liked about the King's Speech, the one thing that didn't make it like biopic to me, is that uh, it had really, really interesting cinematography. It, you know, Even though I'm still gonna go with Black Swan, I would be really, really happy if the King's Speech won too. I'd be kind of bummed that the Social Network won. Now for animated features, I would say Toy Story 3 is, is the contender, and plus Lee Unkrich is from Ohio. And I would like to see him on stage. Or- I think that I think Toy Story Three is going to win. Um, if How to Train Your Dragon somehow pulls it out, I would be ecstatic. I just that movie is just my favorite. I can watch it. I laugh. I love all the voices and the characters. While Toy Story Three, I don't have that same connection. Um, I think ever, since it came out, everybody knew Toy Story Three was a lock to win this category. Uh, as Pixar is every year and it was my favorite movie of the year so you know i'm not disappointed about that i actually love i agree with heather i love how to train your dragon and i think that it's the best movie that Jimmy parks has put out since shrek it's about to me it's better than shrek yeah i would love to see how to train your dragon win but unfortunately toy story 3 is going to win but yeah i would i love how to train your dragon it's one of one of my favorite movies of the year even though it wasn't in my top 10 list And that's part one of our 83rd Academy Award predictions. For part two, we discuss top categories including Best Picture, Best Director, the Screenplays, and the Best Acting categories. You're going to want to watch that. We have some good discussion. We also discuss co-hosts James Franco and Anne Hathaway and how we think they'll fare come Oscar night. We hope you'll join us for that and stay with the Gold Knight blog at thegoldknight.com for the latest Oscar news and buzz. We'll be live from LA Oscar weekend and we hope you'll join us on our journey there. All right, have a good one and until next time, bye for now.